Howdy, this is Paul for the Jack Mountain Bushcraft School. And as you can see around us, we've moved from summer right up to the first day of October today, which means the geese are flying south, the leaves are falling to the ground, and the temperatures are dropping. So behind me, you can see a big hoop house that the 14 students who are part of the uh, fall semester have spent the last couple days building. And we've got the wood stove going. It's nice and warm inside. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is the front of our shelter here. And before we go in, there's four things that every shelter needs to do. They need to keep you dry. They need to keep you out of the wind. They need to get you sleeping off the ground. And in this weather, they need to give you a source of heat. And so as we walk through the shelter, we're gonna point out how this shelter does those four things for us. So this being the front of our shelter, this is the vestibule, which I think is French for a little room that collects muddy boots and umbrellas. But really what our vestibule does here is it serves as an airlock. So when we're going in and out of the warm shelter on the inside to the cold outside, we can have a double door system. So when one door opens, the cold air doesn't blow through to the warm house on the inside and vice versa. As we look at our shelter here, we've got this covered by a layer of plastic and a layer of tarp. And that keeps us out of the wind and it keeps us dry from the rain, which are two things that every shelter needs to do for us. And if we look down here, you can see we have our log stacked, kind of log cabin style. And what this does is it does two things for us. It uh, lets us build a platform that's raised up off the ground. And when we put in our poles, which are our structural support for the building, it allows us to keep them, keep the ends of the poles off the ground, which keeps them from rotting. So now that we've talked a little bit about our vestibule, let's go inside and check out the main living area. Moving through our vestibule, we find ourselves in the main room of our big dome shelter here. And so starting from the outside in, we've got a big layer of plastic covering us that keeps us out of the wind, keeps us out of the rain. And underneath that layer of plastic is a big white parachute. And in the summer, we can roll the sides of the plastic up and the parachute stays down like a big bug net and it allows good ventilation through the big dome here. And then in the winter, as we're hanging out in here, the condensation that comes off of us, it'll make one trip through the parachute and hit the plastic and then run down the plastic instead of dripping on us all night. So supporting all of this roofing material is a good stout frame woven from alder poles. And this is essentially just like a big lattice work, a big upside down basket of poles that when woven together um, creates an immensely strong shelter that last fall supported two grown men sitting on top of the shelter and it didn't even wiggle a bit. So moving down a little bit to our big platform here. This is a platform that can easily sleep six people all night long very very comfortably. So all of the beds and um, benches that we build around here should have two pieces a mattress and a box spring. So our mattress on this bed is a good five or six inches of fir and spruce boughs. Not only does it give you a whole lot of cushion, but it helps insulate you so you sleep a lot warmer at night. Underneath all that mattress material is a good strong box spring. This is gonna keep us from uh, accidentally winding up on the ground in the middle of the night when the box spring breaks. So these babies are gonna hold us off the ground. And so this is a, oh, a great comfortable bench to lounge around on to sleep on at night, and it makes this shelter just really, really cozy. But no shelter in the winter is cozy without a good wood stove, so let's go check it out. The heart of any shelter in the winter is a good wood stove, and this here is a beauty. It's a good size, it seals really, really tight, and it draws really well, which is gonna give us a good, clean burn, and just really crank out the heat on those cold winter nights. So this is Paul for Jack Mountain Bushcraft School, wishing you a safe, happy, and cozy winter.